Uh, we're joined now by Heidi Solsby, Health and uh, Social Care President for the island of Guernsey. Good afternoon to you. Thank you for your time uh, today. So this is all about the, uh, as you call it, the Bailiwick bubble. What's that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's such a fantastic day for the Bailiwick of Guernsey. As you say, 51 days without any positive cases, 88 days of lockdown. But today, all restrictions have gone within the island. So everything is, is, is open and it's, it's a wonderful day. The sun is shining and really it, it's great. No restrictions at all. So people can uh, mill around bars that, that everybody can go to the bar and they can um, they, they can go to restaurants without having to worry about social distancing. So cinemas, everything, they're all open before, the lo before we had lockdown. Uh, how have you managed to achieve that? I guess um, Guernsey's got a population of what, some 67,000. Uh, the UK has 67 million, so perhaps easier in a way. Well, we're different, I mean, clearly, but um, one of the things we did, we locked down early when we were, we were concerned about what was happening around us. Um, and we also brought in very early testing, tracking and tracing. And that was key to being able to control the infection. But overall, really, this is all down to the community. The, the response we've had has just been overwhelming. I mean, people, as, as in the UK, will have made sacrifices of self-isolation, people not being able to see loved ones who, who, who may be dying in care homes or, or, or attend funerals. So a lot of people have suffered over, over this time and in terms of jobs and um, really from a financial point of view as well. But everybody is, the whole community has come together and really, it's been quite humbling because we never even attempted to say, right, we would look at eliminating the virus. And so it's beyond our, our wildest expectations that we'd be 51 days and we haven't seen a single positive case. So the key, you would say, is this testing and contact uh, tracing, which obviously has been delayed in England for a while and things just recently uh, getting underway. Um, what's your reaction to what's happening in England uh, with that? You've obviously gone and uh, got on with it quite uh, quickly. Yeah, well, well, as you say, the UK is different from Guernsey, and we, we are we do things do things differently. I think we have been very lucky with the, the, the advice and support we've had from our director of public health and, and the teamwork that we've had, and we've taken. We, we've looked at the evidence and, and that has guided us in our decision making. I think early on we were concerned with, we, we were then reliant on, on the UK for testing and, and the times were between getting, um, making, having the tests and, and getting results were very slow and that was one of the reasons why we were concerned and went into lockdown. So since then we, we, we got our own um, tracking uh, testing system on Ireland and that's really um, really held us in good stead because it meant that we could we could test immediately and then our contact tracing teams a fantastic bunch of people have worked as 24 hours a day seven days a week at some, in, at some instances really getting that contact tracing happening and that has really meant that we've been able to control the the, the infection as much as possible as quickly as possible and uh, that, that has contributed to everything. Uh, the first case in Guernsey was confirmed, wasn't it, the 9th of March. So what's uh, life been like on the island in the past few weeks and months? Well, it's people, I mean, people have just abided by what, what, what's been brilliant is that people have listened to us and trusted us and what we said. And we've been, we've been very open as well. If things haven't worked, we've said they haven't worked. We, we've been honest and open. We've told them how things are going and what, we've, what we're asking them to do. And, and really, to, to a man, woman, child, that they, they've, they've supported us in it. It's been, it's been absolutely fantastic. We've had the Guernsey flag outside people's homes, because at this point in May, we had our Liberation Day, which is the, uh, the day when we celebrate uh, freedom after German occupation at the, at the end of the Second World War. And we couldn't properly celebrate that, but people kept their flags out in front of their houses it meant meant so much. We've had claps of carers and people going to the hospital and, and clapping for for our, our health and, and care workers. It really it's been epitomised in the phrase Guernsey together. People have rallied around it, and it's it's been absolutely fantastic for the community. And 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 today the sun, as I say, the sun is shining, and it it just couldn't be better, really.